Shooter ready. Stand by. Go! Hey guys, I'm Jerry Mitchell, and I'm getting ready to go out for a range session, so that means I might shoot between three and 500 rounds out of my trusty M&P rifle here. So what I like to do before I go is to prep it and give you an idea of the uh, stress areas on, a, on an AR and how I like to lubricate it. So I've got the bolt assembly out, and one of the things that really takes a beating is the cam pin. Every time the gun cycles, of course, that has to open up to pull the bolt out of battery and open it up. So what I like to do is use a little bit of heavier lubricant on this kind of a system. So this is where the uh, extreme duty gun oil comes in. So what I like to do is go ahead and lube this cam pin up really good. Make sure it's got a front and rear lubrication on it there. And I also put a little lube on the, on the uh, lock and lugs of the bolt because this bolt really, especially... Uh, when you're shooting the hotter ammunition, these lugs take a beating. So put a little bit of lube on that. I'm going to lube the uh, sliding areas of the bolt, of course. But what I try to do is just put a minimum here because it seems to wipe it out anyway when you put it into the receiver. So I've got a little bit of lubrication on it. Got it in the uh, open position. Go ahead and put it back into the rifle. Close it up. So what I do then, open the bolt. And then the raceway is on the inside. I find if I lubricate it this way, the lubrication stays in place longer. If you put it on a bolt and slide it in, you'll wipe it most of it off by the time it gets into the firing position. So I'll drop three or four drops here along the raceway, both top and bottom. The top is more important. That's where all the business takes place. It's where all the stress area, the cam pin, and where the bolt has to force itself into the firing sequence. So, so there you have it. Got about six drops of oil. On the raceway, it's got the boat lubricated, got the cam pin ready to go. So I'm good for about 600 rounds and uh, I gotta go burn some ammo.